Water in for the steam. Where does that actually enter into the steam engine? Well, the water goes in through this pump, eh? It does? This is a little steam driven water. This is the pump. And there's a little steam engine up here. Okay. And it drives the water across this pipe and over into the other side where it enters the boiler. Goes across, goes across that pipe right there? Yeah. So, do you pour water from the top into it somewhere? Well, you can. Well, how does it, how do you get the steam, I guess? How does the... Well, it's full of water right up to here. Okay. And then you build a fire in it, and that's where you get your steam. Okay. You just got the hot water. Yeah. And those, and it goes, those pulleys, or belts, I should say. That belt there. Going back to there, that's driving that governor up on top. See that thing going around? The spinning thing? That's called the governor? Yeah, that's the governor that controls the speed of the engine. Okay. And so this cylinder has wa has steam on has water on the outside of it. it comes from that pump over here and into the boiler here, eh? Okay. Replenishes the so you can see keeping it in the sight glass right here. Right. Okay. So that's the sight glass. Yep. And it has to stay at... Well, you want to keep her in the sight glass. Okay. So that's, you've got a problem. Okay. <laughs> this, this has to stay in between these two valves. What does? The, this, the, the, the level? The height of this water. Okay. If it goes down like in, it's getting dangerous. Okay. And like you have to keep that water up there. Okay. Or, or I mean, the possibility of it blowing up is very, you know, very. I don't. It would, I don't think it would ever happen. But right. it's supposed to be dangerous if that gets too low. Okay. And our neighbor right. was fired it from my dad. I, I was young. Yeah. He watered it down low, and my dad was away, so the neighbor kind of panicked. Right. He pulled all the wood out of the fire. Oh no. He, my dad came home, and he was running around the mill yard. And he was afraid it was going to blow up. He oh. said to my dad, he said, do these things blow up very often? And my dad said, only once. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like it, obviously it didn't blow up. Right, so... But, but the, it's dangerous if it goes below so you can't see the water. From here up. That's boiling water in there. That, that level that right. the water's boiling and then making the steam into really the steam go. door. Okay. And talk about that gauge for me, would you do that? Well, that's just the pressure gauge, tells you how many PSI the boiler's operating at, like it's at 40 PSI there now. Right? Okay. If it was, when they used to run the mill with it, they said they run it at 100 pounds PSI. Okay. okay. And back here is the... This is the firebox, this is where the... You put the wood to it. And boy, that's sure throwing heat, eh? Yeah. So where do you store the steam engine when it's not running here in the driveway? Well, I take it home in my house now. Town line road and keep it in a sliding shed in there. Okay. Do you take it to shows or anything? Nope. 
So Jim, do you know how many approximately of these are still around? Like, in existence? Well, yeah. I don't know any in the Walmart district. I don't know. Right. I've never ever heard of any. Right. But the only one as far as I know. And you go to steam engine shows and different engine shows, eh? Yeah. I go to a few. Don't go as often as I used to. I used to go to two or three every year. Slow down, I guess. <laughs> don't go anymore. So what is that, Sawyer? Is that the same as the, what it says on the side Sawyer here? Oh yeah, right. Sawyer and Massey, right. And that's out of Hamilton. So talk about this again. This was this is a valve. Did you say? Or? This is the piston, eh? and this is this is what makes the power. Eh? This is the steam piston in here, and that's just the slide. And then it turns that cr crank over there, which in turn turns the big pulley. This is just like the motor in your car. This is the this is what makes the wheels go around. <laughs> And it's it's like an, the original um, environmentally friendly way of operating something. Oh. So this steam engine was on Rydal Mill Road. Yeah. And then it moved to uh, Iron River. Right. And from Iron River it went to Ohio. And then it came back to the Rydal family. That's right. Yeah. That's so neat. Yeah. It's really interesting that the man who who ended up with it in Ohio really wanted to make sure it came back to the family. And he's the one that took did some upkeep on it and then because of your skills you've been able to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see anything like this? No, no, sir. It'll, it'll go a little dark. Now we got it going. With this yeah. <laughs> so when was the last time you had the whistle going? Well, I don't know. There was a little kid blowing it there a while ago, and she scared herself. The old dish. <laughs> Ben, you better go over and pull so the green string there and see what, see what, blow the whistle. Want me to? But I'm getting to go around and give her a pull. Watch everybody's drink fly out of their hand. Yeah, I was going to say. Give her a good one. Give her a good one. Don't be scared of her. She's got lots of noise left in her head.